Hello YouTube, Rocky3 here, back with another kicking action figure review. Today's review is over the EX Gomera figure. Yes, EX Gomera. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about the burp. I just had a bunch of peanut butter sandwiches and coke. <laughs> but I have been meaning to review this kaiju for a long time. Like I filmed a review for him, and then I thought... No, this review is kind of outdated now. I should re I should refilm it because I didn't upload it. And then I refilmed it, and I was like, eh, I don't really like this one. Deleted it, refilmed it again, and I was like, ah, oh, I didn't like this one. And then I refilmed it, and but after I refilmed it, I was about to edit it, but by that point, I had the new background, and I was like, ah, oh, I'm gonna refilm it with the new background. So this is like my fifth attempt, fifth or sixth attempt actually at an EX Gomer review. <laughs> so. Here he is, finally, EX Gomera. Yeah, I know you guys have been waiting for this Ultra Monster forever. I am so sorry. But uh, it's actually a really, really cool figure. Probably one of the favorite Ultra Monsters in my collection. I really gotta say, I, I just really, really love this guy. He's very, very well made and quite spectacular. So, uh... Yeah, let's take a look-see. Let's get some uh, detail and paint job action going on. So, detail and paint with this guy, really, really cool. I mean, the detail is spectacular. He's got all the bumps on his head, his spikes, all just the little indentions and stuff in his armor. I mean, detail is unparalleled. It is amazing. He just looks mag freaking nificent I mean, you got the lines on his horns, and those just white eyes. Oh, that looks so nice. And the gold on his horns and his claws. I mean, his sculpt is absolutely fantastic. He looks really, really, really nice. You got that pink in his mouth, individually sculpted teeth, painted white, his nostrils, all just all kinds of stuff. The sculpt is absolutely magnificent. I've got nothing bad to say about it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Now how about some articulation action? You got 360 on the head there. And uh, also got some arm swivel. Arm swivel. If you pull it out, you can do a 360. And some leg action, which I'm sure you can also get to go 360. Yep, there it goes. And then... The tail looks like it has a glue seal. Uh, haven't really tried breaking it yet. I don't think I will because he's like really soft vinyl. You see? So I don't think I'm going to try to break the tail. Break its glue seal. I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is. So yeah. Without the, uh, the seal broken, you got five points. Which is pretty cool. Alright, now here we got some size comparisons going on. I'm going to do a bunch of size comparisons for this video to make up for the fact that I may or may not have my tag in my dorm because I keep my Star Wars miniatures cards in the same uh, card book as I keep my tags in. So my tags are actually in my dorm, so I don't have it. I don't have it with me and I'm really sorry. Like my Beely All tag is there too. And everything, so I'm, I'm sorry about that. But uh... Yeah, here he is with Hyper Zeton from Ultraman Saga. Really solid figure, by the way. And I guess they scale up fine, you know? You never really see them together, so hard to, it's hard to say. But I think they look great together. And then here he is with Belial from Ultraman Mebius. Oh, I loved Belial. I loved Ultraman Mebius. One of my favorite Ultraman series, if not my favorite Ultraman series. I really dug it. Still gotta watch the little, like, miniseries thing in the movie, too. But, um... Yeah, I also think he scales up well with this Belial. That's a fight I'd like to see. Belial was great, and EX Gomeria was just straight up awesome. So, yeah, really, really cool. So he scales up well with your other, like, Ultra Monsters and stuff. Now here's our EX Gomer with some Ultraman. Here he is with the original Ultraman, and this is just the uh, new Ultra Hero series, Ultraman. Ultra Hero series. But yeah, it's pretty cool, and, uh... I think they scale up fine together. Usually I see Ultraman crouching, so I guess it would be alright. And then over here you have the Ultra Act 
Ultraman Max. Uh, I really like the Ultraman Max series, so I picked up the Ultra Act. And it's a pretty cool figure, but I think they scale up well together too, and that Ultraman you actually can get in a crouching pose, so... They do scale up really well together. So he also scales up well with your Ultraman, just Bandai Vinyl and uh, Tamahashi Nation's Bandai. Now here's the ex Gomorrah with some Gamera monsters. Here's with the uh, Memorial Box Gauss. So that's a pretty cool comparison. You can see him with the Gauss there. And uh, I think they scale up just fine. And then here he is with the Gamera repaint. It's the same sculpt as the Memorial Box Gamera. It's just the repaint. So it's uh, a little cheaper. <laughs> and uh, But it, this, this sizing also goes for your Memorial Box Gamera. But they scale up well together too. So, so far, this guy's scaling up with all the kaiju figures. All the six inch ones anyways. So, now, there's really only a... Uh, one kaiju franchise left. One major one, anyway. That's right, it's Godzilla! So I figured I'd show you uh, Bandai America and Bandai Japan figures. So here's the uh, Bandai Creations Godzilla 2000 or Godzilla Millennium. Get this guy in my comics plus dot net. Wink. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he's actually really cool. I really, really want a Bandai Creations best. And I think he looks great alongside the EX Gomera. I actually have EX Gomera displayed alongside my uh, Godzilla figures. And then, uh, also we have this 50th anniversary Anguirus figure. It's Final Wars Anguirus, the red and brown one. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. Got it from G-Fest. It's really cool. But, uh, I think they scale up well, too. I thought you'd want to see him against something other than a biped kaiju or seijin or something. So... Yeah, he also looks great with your Angerus and stuff. Alright guys, well that is really it for my EX Goma review. I might pick up EX Red King later on and stuff, but... Eh, who knows, right? But uh, yeah, the EX Goma itself is just a very, very ballin' figure. Great detail, great paint, articulations, you know, what you expect out of these vinyls. Scales up well with all three major franchises. It's just a really, really awesome figure I mean I love it so much and I'm sorry it took me forever to get this review to you guys like I remember the package showed up like one day while I was playing Dungeons and Dragons with my friends and I ran outside and I was like yeah guys my new toys here and they're all like that's an awesome toy <laughs> we're such children but um He's just absolutely fantastic, and I'm glad I picked him up, and I highly recommend that all of you guys pick him up as well, especially if you're Ultraman fans. Plus, he's Gomera, and Gomera's just the bomb anyways. So, all in all, this figure gets 5 out of 5 stars. There's no complaints. I mean, just the monster design in general is great, and it's just really brought out by this excellent design. I love the touch with the white eyes, and these giant claws are just so cool. I mean, look at them. They're, they're so amazingly big. And he scales up well with all of your other figures and all kinds of stuff. It's just a really, really excellent figure all around. So, I give this Gomera 5 out of 5 stars. I mean, it's just absolutely spectacular. So yeah, if you want to see more reviews, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. We got all kinds of stuff going on, and uh, in the link below, well, the links are in the description below. You can check out links to my second channel. You got Facebook, Twitter. We'll follow you back on Twitter. Action figure collecting page, the last review, all kinds of great, awesome stuff. All kinds of stuff. So yeah, I highly recommend that you guys go and check it all out. I mean, I've got this big B3 Productions community going on, and you're missing out if you're not all integrated in it. So yeah, that is it. 5 out of 5 of this guy. I highly recommend you all pick him up. He is just spectacular. He is spectacular. So, yeah, that's it, you guys. 5 out of 5, and I will see you all later.